It is definitely safe to say that no one thinks ice cream is healthy. But you could also say that no one really understands the importance of food quality and animal nutrition. If we take a look at the ingredients in ice cream, milk, cream, eggs, and sugar, it becomes pretty clear that it's based on whole foods outside of the sugar. Yes, that conventionally raised milk is going to be devoid of vitamins because the cows are fed grain. Same with the cream. The egg yolks are going to be lacking nutrients as well due to the poor quality grain-based feeds of corn and soy. The sugar content is very high to make up for the lack of flavor in these low quality animal foods and various chemicals as well as preservatives are added in most cases. All dairy, especially from a local farm, has an incredibly high nutrient content. Here today I have some raw sheep dairy. So it has all of the vitamins A, B, C, D, E, and K2. Uh, sheep dairy in particular is more concentrated than cow or goat dairy. So literally twice the amount of nutrients, but it's a lower volume of liquid. Uh, so per calorie, all milk is about the same. Sheep milk is just more concentrated. This is specifically because of the nutrient content of the grasses the animals are consuming. Raw cow's milk and raw cow cream might have a slightly yellow uh, to beige hue to it, but goat milk and sheep milk is always white. Egg yolks from a local farm. Very important that your eggs are the highest quality possible. Uh, these are soy free. It's very hard to find corn free eggs as well. As with the milk, these will have much higher amounts of all of the vitamins, especially vitamin D3 and egg yolks. And they also have EPA and DHA for those of you that don't really like fish. Vitamin K2, very high and present in all of these foods. We are going to be using raw honey instead of sugar. Uh, this is some local raw honey and it has a lower glycemic index in a sense that it doesn't spike insulin as much uh, because there is a substance in raw honey that doesn't spike insulin. But the main thing we're going to do here is put less of it in because honey is sweeter than sugar for the amount that you put in. We're also going to use natural flavorings as opposed to artificial ones. Uh, here I have a pure Madagascar ground vanilla bean powder. Uh, they have this at Whole Foods. I actually showed you guys this in my Whole Foods video. You know, I'm not a big fan of the extracts. Uh, this is a little bit expensive. It's like $25 uh, for one ounce. Uh, but keep in mind, you know, regular vanilla beans are far more expensive than this vanilla bean powder. So I would just opt without it if you couldn't really afford it. And of course we have uh, some salt. Here I'm using sea salt and you know, even low quality crappy ice creams might use a type of salt chemical that you don't want in your diet. So the dairy and the egg yolks increase the nutrient density substantially, making this an almost complete food from a nutrient perspective. And we reduce the amount of sugar as well, just by you know, removing some of the honey. Normal recipes for ice cream use two cups of cream, which is what we have today. I actually have a little bit less than two cups of cream because uh, this sheep cream that I have is so thick and rich, it's almost like butter. And then you would have one cup of milk. So two parts cream to one part milk. Again, I have a little less cream and a little more milk today because I'm using sheep dairy. Two thirds of a cup of sugar is the norm. I think we're gonna use around a quarter of a cup of honey. And what you could actually do is don't put any sugar in the ice cream and afterwards just drizzle a little bit of honey on top. That's a way where you can get a very small amount of carbohydrates, maybe even four or five grams of sugar at most, and still enjoy your ice cream. So don't add the honey to the recipe, uh, but we're gonna add a little bit. And there is variation in these recipes. You know, sometimes they use whole eggs, uh, sometimes they only use cream, uh, sometimes the milk to cream ratio is a little bit different. But I looked at about a dozen ice cream recipes and came up with this one as what made the most sense. And using honey instead of sugar, might alter the texture a bit because sugar does absorb some moisture, but it should be pretty similar. One of the reasons I'm showing you guys this recipe is because I recently bought an ice cream maker. And in my past video, uh, we put the mixture in the freezer, took it out, 
blended it up a little bit. I figured I would try one of these and see if I liked it. I have never used this before. This is going to be the first time. Uh, there are also some much cheaper ice cream makers. This was like $200. Uh, there's some $30 or $40 ones that you can just add ice and salt to, and I'm sure they work just as well, uh, but we'll see how this goes. I'm actually going to go on Craigslist later and see if I can find a used commercial ice cream maker. I don't know why I didn't think of that in the first place. So let's just uh, dump all the ingredients in here and hope for the best. Egg yolks and the one cup of milk. This has a one and a half quart capacity, uh, which is just under six cups. And I think we have about four cups of content that we're adding to this. So we should have plenty of room. All right, I think I'll lick the rest of the cream out of there. I'm gonna add two tablespoons of honey to this whole thing. And worst case scenario, we can just drizzle some on later. That's about 40 grams of sugar for, you know, four cups of ice cream. So very insignificant amount. I have no idea how much of this to add. I'm gonna go a little bit heavy with a teaspoon because every time I've added this type of vanilla stuff in the past, it hasn't been enough. We'll see. It is actually the next day. The problem with this ice cream machine is if you move it, uh, the coolant uh, shifts around. So the machine has to stay upright uh, for 24 hours straight before you can use it. Uh, so I waited 24 hours and I just ran the machine for an hour. And now we have uh, some pretty good looking ice cream. You know, the middle is a little bit soft. You know, the sides of the machine are a little bit harder. So I'm sure you could stop this. You know, you could stop this at whatever consistency you like. So if you want it more hard like this, or if you want it more soft like the middle, maybe you would take it out, you know, five or 10 minutes earlier. But anywhere from 45 to 60 minutes, uh, it's going to be completely finished. I would say 35 minutes for a softer ice cream. So my brother's in town and he never likes any of the stuff I make. Like he tried the pemmican. Disgusting. He's like, it's a meat. He's not a fan. Some of you, a lot of you guys really love the pemmican we have, the blueberry one. And even the kids that have tried it say, you know, it tastes like a brownie. They really love it. But, you know, he has a standard American diet taste. So I appreciate it. It's just not for me. <laughs> I think this ice cream is one of the best things I've ever tried in general, let alone ice cream. So this is just vanilla ice cream made with the, the sheet milk. Oh, wow. That's actually really good. I thought it would taste like weird meat. Egg gunk is, again. It's be definitely better than that Halo Top bullshit. It's way better than Halo Top, yeah. It's is like it the best creamy? ice cream you've ever had? I'd say it's up there. It's super rich. It's creamy. It's I think a, if this was made in a soft serve machine or like a commercial machine, it would by far be the best. Yeah, I don't think it's... It's not as sweet as yeah, ice cream usually is, but it's still, it's no, still this pretty has, sweet. This has like a quarter of the honey. It's like really very little sugar. Really? If yeah. you ate this whole thing... Has like 50 grams of sugar, so you can eat the whole thing. The in whole a day. thing. Yeah. Wow. That's so like you, you can eat the whole thing in a day if you want to. Yeah, you can. And you still be healthy. That actually that tastes way sweeter than you than you think yeah. the amount of sugar in there yeah. is. If you want this yeah. to be, if yeah. you want this to taste like, yeah, you could drizzle a little honey on it if you want. And then I don't be, think it needs it. I think it's. I was just gonna say that since it's less sweet, you get a lot more like the it's almost like it's, of the flavor. It's almost like yeah. it's not even dessert. Yeah. It's like you could eat this as a meal instead of dessert. Well, because of the it's, it's, well, <laughs> well, the point is from a macro from a macronutrient standpoint, it's actually. You'd not, be a pretty happy boy, sweet. actually, if you were doing that. No, it's really good. Mm -hmm. I actually, I like want to see what's in it because I almost don't believe that it's as healthy. Yeah, saying. this is, it's sheep milk, sheep cream, the yeah. egg yolks, honey, and that's it. Vanilla beans. Is that all fresh vanilla? It's a lot of, that's a yeah, vanilla. Yeah, it's a lot of vanilla. That's, that's what gets it. It's yeah. probably the fresh vanilla. Yeah. yeah. That's, that's key. That's good. Yeah. So there you go. Fresh ingredients makes good ice cream. Who would have thought? I wish I had some of those cookies that I made like a month ago so I could have the most delicious ice cream sandwich in the world. I can't speak enough about raw dairy, pastured eggs, truly high quality ingredients. That's what we want to bring you guys with Frankie's Free Range Meat. We are trying to get you guys raw dairy ASAP. You know, we've had a few mishaps, uh, you know, lost a bit of money on the initial startup of the business. So it's not happening as soon as we wanted to, but our immediate goal, our top priority is raw dairy for you guys. Uh, you know, the eggs will come shortly after that. And a lot of the other things that we've mentioned are still on the table. And we have so many products to show you guys uh, that are very excellent and creative ideas that are going to blow your mind. You know, you guys are going to, you know, spend half your paycheck on this food. And I, I couldn't blame you. You know, the meat granola we have is delicious. And we have ideas that are way beyond and better than that. So I can't thank you guys enough. 
uh, for having supported us over the few months and this dream of providing high quality food for everyone seems like uh, it's really panning out and possible in the future. Thank you guys for joining me today. If you could please like the video, subscribe, hit that bell icon, share the video if you can. As I said, check out frankiesfreerangemeat.com for high quality nutrient dense animal foods at an affordable price. You can also go to frankiesnaturals.com, get your minimal ingredients, minimally processed hygiene and cosmetic products, new moisturizing cream formula, AKA ball grease. It's, it's phenomenal guys, check it out. New tooth powder formula, remineralizing, and our deodorant is a lighter shade if you guys are wearing white shirts to work or anything. You can get raw milk at realmilk.com or support Frankie Boy and he'll see what he can do. Thanks again, guys. If you want to reach out to me for consultations, shoot me an email, frankatufano at gmail.com.